Good morning. Well, who would have thought I'd be sitting here in my robe that makes me look like a polar bear trying to get this video out to you. Imagine my surprise last night when Mr. Tom texted me and said, oh, it's your turn to do our group me video. And I went, oh dear, really? I'd lost a whole week. But at any rate, here I am. I had had some thoughts anyway about what I wanted to say to you because I usually try to put myself in your shoes and look at things from your perspective, which is hard when you, when you get to be old. At any rate, we have been studying some of the things that Jesus did with his disciples um, as he performed all his ministry and many miracles. Now, he was coming along the road, and he had a whole bunch of followers with him, so it was quite a crowd. And he, he heard somebody calling out, Oh, Jesus, son of David, please, please help us, or help me, actually. They, there were a couple of them, and they, but they were both, you know, and wanting to be helped. And Jesus stopped. He heard them, and he stopped, and he asked them, he said, What's the matter? And they said, We can't see. Jesus, son of David, please open our eyes. And with that, Jesus touched their eyes and they could see. And they immediately got up and joined his crowd of followers. Now, in our situation, a lot of times things happen to us and we don't understand. I remember putting myself back. We were supposed to think about something that really hurt us physically or emotionally. Physically, we can all talk about this week. However, emotionally, I remember um, I, when I was in high school, I wanted to be on this Girls Athletic Association. It was a board, and it was a big deal. You know, all the rah-rahs were on it. But anyway, I tried for two semesters to get on that board, and I never did. So I thought my life was going to end. But some teachers got involved, and they talked me into running for the Senior Girls Council instead. And I ended up getting on the Senior Girls Council, which is where I belonged in the first place. So sometimes Jesus, God hears our prayers. It's just that they get answered in a way we're not sure of what's going on. However, we have to have faith. God always hears our persistent prayers. Please pray with me right now. Help us all to remember that sometimes our prayers aren't answered, dear God, in the way we expect them to be. Help us to accept this and try to understand that it may, may be in the long run for the best for us. It will be in the long run for the best for us, but help us to understand it. We ask it in Jesus' name. Thank you, God, for bringing us together. Amen. Please, um, your life question for today, as I said, be I think I said before, I don't know, was to talk about a time when you were physically or emotionally hurt. Good luck. Take care. Bye.